gym in London, trained by Bill Judd. In the blue corner, Daniel Hudson. From the Wicker Camp in Sheffield, trained by Mick Milani. Leon, 11 fights, 8 wins, 3 losses, 4 wins by way of KO. Daniel, 10 fights, 9 wins, 1 loss. Again, 4 wins by way of KO. I'm pleased to have with me again Howard Hughes. Howard, looking at these two lads, I know you know a bit about Leon. Yes, I've, um, I actually promoted a show not that long ago on Leon and actually another fighter on tonight's bill, John Hale, I've actually fought together on my show, so I know a little bit about Leon, he's a very, very good fighter, very technical, don't know a lot about Daniel, so it'll be interesting to see how this one comes out. Daniel from a good camp there, there with Mick Mulaney. Mulaney. The Wicker Camp in Sheffield, wow. excellent, Trix Marsh and Mick Mullaney. So here we go, these two young men fighting for a chance to go into the semi-final of the eight-man challenge. Leon Chevalier in the red corner, Daniel Hudson in the blue, and an early exchange of kicks there as they saw each other. Then suddenly, strong left hook from Chevalier. Howard. Yes, I think Leon again, thinking that maybe he's watched Neil Woods' his fight. He's going for the kill here, straight away in round one. Very powerful opening session from Leon Chevalier. Yes, our referee John Blackledge splitting them there because we must remind you this is K1, not Thai boxing rules. And in the K1 rules. They don't like the clinching much, John will split them at every opportunity. You saw a fantastic spinning back fist there from Leon Chevalier. Hits right on the mark there, the side of the face of Daniel Hudson. Yes, Howard, and we must say that these K1 rules and the K1 itself has captured the imagination of the world, really, hasn't it? It has. It started in Japan, then to the US, and now I think about 22, 23 countries are leading these K1 events, and England hopefully leading the way. Now there you saw there's no elbows allowed, but Daniel was almost tempted to throw one in the corner above us, wasn't he? Again, classically Thai trained, he has to be careful not to use the elbow, but he is totally free to use the knee to the body and to the face. Yes, and he landed with a good low kick there, John Blackledge will split them again, but Daniel will have to remember to rein in those tools for these rules. They look very, very even. Halfway through this first round, we can't really tell who's taking the, the more pressure at the moment. Yes, uh, there's no one really taking the initiative, is there? And if we look at it, they are perfectly balanced on paper as well. They are. One fight difference, both won four by KO. Losses, Daniel's only lost once, but very even match on paper. Great matchmaking. Yeah, match good on paper, physically a very good match as well. Yes, there's not much height difference, and I think it's showing at the moment they're really having a good look at each other. No one's got through with that telling blow that really decides it. And with Leon, I'd like to see him tighten up those punches a bit. They're, yeah. they're a bit wild, those hooks. They've got to be careful. Again, they've got to take into consideration the injuries if they're going to make it to the semi-final and final. Yes, this possibly one of three fights for these two young men. Requires incredible stamina. And again, freedom from injuries. Luck, as it were, can play a huge That's part, Howard. It, it will. You see Daniel Hudson there briefly a moment ago trying to bring the knee up to the head and finish this one early. Yes, he got through with two nice jabs as well, but on the second jab he took a, a big right hand in return from Leon. So again, very close. I'd say we're about three quarters of the way through now, two of the three minutes. Has anybody yet impressed you with that and said to see now? Leon Chevalier, I think, is impressing you slightly more with the punches, but the better guy in the clinch with the knee is definitely Daniel Hudson. It depends how the judges are going to uh, score this one, either on the knees or the punches. Yes, yeah, so quite a lot of clinching going on in this one. And the end of the first round, there, as Howard said, a difficult one to score. I think I'm going to leave it to the viewers, Howard, on terms of their viewpoint. If you're one of the guys that favours the punches, you'll probably go with Leon. If you favour the more traditional tyrant technique, then Daniel caught the eye. Like I said, I think uh, I'd like to sit on the fence on that one. I think uh, a draw would be uh, quite an even sort of decision for that first round. Yes, yeah, so coming up to round two, three minute rounds. Daniel Hudson choosing to stand. Leon taking the stool. And here a good low kick from, from Daniel. And a good front kick to stop Leon coming in. Again, I think the leg work and the knee work definitely in favour of Daniel. The, the powerful, the more harder punches coming in from, from Leon. Yeah, so just like, again, there, the hook from Leon. Just like him tighten up his punches, make them straighter and shorter so they find the mark quicker. We'll see what happens in the second round. Hopefully the fighters will sort of calm down a little, 
and work their techniques a little better now. Yes, they've had a good chance to look at each other now. Two rounds, big breath there from oh, Leon Chevalier. This will be the deciding round in my opinion now. And again, Leon attacking, but nothing really landed there. And it's natural to Daniel, although it doesn't suit this style of fighting, he tries to clinch automatically with his tie background like that, doesn't he? He does. He's trying to really work those knees to the midsection and, and body, but he must be aware that he can also knee to the face in this one, which, again, one knee to the face and it's all over. That's right. And, I mean, at the moment, still very evenly matched. And dare I say how, just a bit scrappy at the moment. A little bit. Again, uh, they don't seem to have settled down quite much. Maybe the nerves are, are getting to them. The you know the, the hugeness of this event with the K1, the first K1 max in and, this country. And to be fair to them as well, normally they'd have their mind just on the one fight. You have your fight, you get back to the changing room, you have your beer or your orange juice, whichever your preference is, and then it's over. But have they got one half of their brain maybe on the next fight it, it must be playing on their mind that they think they may have to come out again you know and fight again and possibly again in the final that must tell well at this precise moment in time i wouldn't like to be one of the judges i see this is a very close fight neither man asserted his authority really and i think that's the problem the judges need something don't they that says yes it's definitely this man but neither Leon nor Daniel's really given it to them yet, have they? That's right, it's very, very evenly matched this fight. Again, we, we said before, very evenly matched on paper. And as we can see in the ring here, both, both warriors fighting an almost an identical fight. Very difficult to score. Well, a 50% knockout ratio in, in both man's favour, so it doesn't necessarily mean they're huge punchers, but they are capable if they hit their man right. You can see they're powerful guys. Yes, when we saw all of them lining up, as you commented earlier, Howard, and I think in some of the interviews you, you'll have done, at 70k, these are powerful lads. It is. It's a good weight to be. The light middleweight division. It can be very strong. These guys, I would have thought most of the fighters tonight would have been about 71 and a half, 72 kilos, and would have had to just drop a little bit of weight to make the 70 kilo maximum weight. Well, we're approaching towards the end of the round now, and both lads looking slightly tired I'll agree with Howard I think it's a big occasion they're young men and I think it's showed in their performance tonight if this was a single fight on a smaller show I think we'd maybe see far cleaner technique good yeah I think Daniel just in the latter half of the second round is just starting to edge in my opinion so maybe slightly fitter Leon Chevalier on the back foot a little bit now but he's coming forward again Yes, not much conviction in those kicks though, Howard, and as you said, he's just looking to roll a little bit, and I think fatigue might be playing a part now. Reddening of the face on Leon, he's breathing heavy, Daniel still seems to be relatively relaxed, teeing off now. Oh, I'll go along with that, Howard, I think those last 30 seconds, if the judges are looking for someone, I think Daniel gave them the reason in that round to go with him. Definitely, if I was a judge on that, that will be a 10-9 scoring to Daniel Hudson, second round. Yes, Leon breathing heavily there in his corner. Bill Judd trying to calm him down, talking to him wisely. As we can see here, this is for me, as towards the end, we're seeing him roll a bit, and then Daniel comes in. And this time, it was Leon wanting to clinch. It was just to hold on really for more from tiredness than rather than to try and work the clinch and get in with the knee and took three punches there right at the bell so at this moment in time Howard and I have got it one fight one round possibly a draw the second round was definitely Daniel Hudson so we feel that Leon has got to pull it out of the bag in this round but he did look terribly Four fatigued at the end of that second he has I don't think he's quite as fit as uh, Daniel Hudson so if Daniel just does the same again puts on the pressure it's gonna be a win for Daniel Hudson so we have the third and final round in this first round elimination contest on this K1 UK Max card. Co-promoted by Showsport International and JKO Promotions. One of these young men will book himself a semi-final place. And at the moment, we're slightly in favour of Daniel Hudson. Leon's took the sense of the ring. He's taken it to Daniel again, though. So he's come out strong. Let's just hopefully he can keep up this pace for the remaining three minutes of this round. Yes, and Howard, it was, it was ironic that we were saying about the technique and then suddenly Daniel started to outpunch Leon. 
And then in the opening part of this round, Leon started to do the low tie kicks on um, Daniel. So they've sort of like reversed roles almost. It is. But let's see if he can keep up the pressure for the, for the remaining time. Daniel usually comes into his own towards the latter half of the round and then takes the round. My problem with Leon's punches is he expends energy. He got through there with a left hook, but there was less power because it was long and looping. Both fighters will be feeling the pressure now. But it's Daniel, as we can see now, he's starting to pile the pressure on. And as I said before, Howard, his, his punches are straighter, they get to the target quicker. And by, by default, therefore, they're shorter and more hurtful. And I think it's showing in the response his punches get to the response Leon's get. They're probably float, throwing the same amount of punches, but it's Daniel Hudson are the ones that are landing more cleanly at the moment. And there was a hurtful knee to the back of Leon's knee there, which is taking the toll on his legs. I think you're right, Daniel's impressed me with his overall ability and the way he's worked the overall body. And I feel as this round's going on, he's doing the eye-catching work. He definitely is, he definitely is. He's doing more of the Thai style, waiting for the second half of the, of the round and then forcing the pressure. And again, Leon missed with a looping right hand and was punished with a right leg to the back of his knee. So, again, Daniel slightly the more accurate as well. Standing in his ground, that's a fantastic punch again. The accuracy of Daniel Hudson coming out now. Leon Chevalier on the back foot, up against the ropes. And a big knee there as well, Howard. Torrid time here, as Howard Hughes says, for Leon Chevalier. Coming on strong, like Howard predicted. Daniel's really forced the pace, and I think, for me, this has put it beyond doubt, Howard. This is another excellent round for Daniel Hudson. He has to just st stay in there now, and it's going to be a definite win. Semi-final place for Daniel Hudson. Don't rule Leon Chevalier out, though. And the K1 rules, like you say, one knee to the head, and it could be a loss. Yes, Leon dreadfully tired, though. And really, one of those looping punches has got to find the target. He was very lucky there. Again, short right hand from Daniel finds his target. And the knee this time, which he only just missed before. And another big knee's got Leon rocking. All credit to Leon to stay on his feet because those knees have come in twice. Big roundhouse. He'll be glad to see the bell. Well, hear the bell. Just punches the foot, the full array of weapons now going from Daniel Hudson. This is oh. to come to do this and an excellent round for Daniel Hudson. Surely a win. Right at the end there as well, Leon walked onto a short left and it summed up his night really. A good start for him. And Leon, the IMTF Southern Area middleweight champion. So he's come down a weight for this fight, so as you predicted. That's right. And maybe that just took a little bit of Leon's energy out of him. The blue corner, Daniel Hudson. Yes. Goes through to the semi